Well, hello there, fellow farmers. Welcome to Richie's Prairie. That's right. We are going to play this new map by One Man O Two, and this series is going to continue until FS Twenty Two comes out. Now I'm starting up here in the career mode, and we're going to choose new farmer. Um, I tried farm manager and start from scratch, but it didn't really turn out the start that I wanted. So I'm just going to start all over, and I'm going to take you through the process. And uh, I'm going to show you the best way, for me at least, to start up on this map. So, uh, yeah, as usual, we're going to choose our map. Look at this, Richie's Prairie. And, uh, yeah, continue. And purple favorite color. Well, actually, we could take a little theme here. We're going to go with blue. I like the navy blue. I don't know if it's navy blue or just dark blue. It doesn't say, right? No. So we're going to go with this. Uh, the mods I have installed, there is a mod pack to be found on the Trello.com uh, site for Richie's. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And of course the map is in the mod folder. Uh, otherwise there is, I can see there's a dot one, let's unmark this one here. Unmark this one. Uh, there is just bits and bobs and mods I found throughout the... Yeah, playing a lot uh, of different kinds on different kinds of maps from my own mod reviews, and also uh, quite a lot of mods from PV County. There's a lot of mods from Winston. So let's go. Let's load up. And there are many ways, as I said. There is, as I said, there are many ways to uh, start up on this map. Uh, you can go with the grass option. Uh, turn the grass into silage and hay, and earn a lot of money. That way, you can do a lot of forestry. We're gonna cut a lot of, a lot of logs and get some wood chips. Um, you can do a lot of mining and selling a lot of bulk. This is a cool map. It's really a cool map. There's a lot of new fruit types on it, and uh, it's seasons ready with custom geo. If you choose to do that, um, it's a splintered map layout, I must say. So um, yeah, and f not to forget, recommend use only one map in one folder that means if you're playing on multiple maps make sure that you are using separate folders for each of the map else it might cause some very very strange conflicts yes so um let's dive into it shall we this is the house hello hello house a uh, beautiful house you can go in and take a look at it i think i don't think we can open the door here oh yeah we can and it's, it's pretty cool. You can take a look around in here. There's, uh, I think this house has been used uh, on a few maps all by now. I really like it. I love it. Cozy. Yep, it's, that's something you want to do. I mean, we're just setting up things now. I might do a narrative approach. But this is my setup episode. So uh, we are going to investigate a little bit here and talk about stuff. <laughs> stuff. Right, we got some cool, uh, I think it's just objects here, decorations. Yes, we can't interact with them. Oh, pretty cool, actually. I don't know if some of these are from FS15. Maybe they, they could be. Uh, there's a trailer. Yeah, all scrap. And, uh, worn out barn. Mailbox and so on. Oh yeah, we got a lot of equipment. Talking about the equipment. Oh, talking about the money, anyways, we are having 100,000 euros to play around with. Uh, which reminds me, always when we start a new map, I need to change uh, around the stuff here. Uh, buy off, 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 fast, sure, plant with the off, yes, crop destruction, yeah, let's keep it. Uh, periodic plowing required, yeah. Lime required, yeah. Weeds, ah, uh, no. Uh, automatic engine start, yeah, we can fiddle around with that later on. So, what about here? Euros, kilometers, hectares, that's fine. Field info, yes, 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 yes. Traffic on, yes. Um, yes, seems fine. Sensitivity, 200%, yep, that's fine. Right, save it. And let's take a look at here, the map layout. So, right. This is where we start. Yeah, almost dead center. This square of water here, that's dead center of the map. Plain, easy, dead center. It's pretty awesome. We got some uh, 
yeah, some bulk mining materials down here, coal and ore. Over here, we got some gravel and stone. Uh, up here, we got some silt and salt. And then we got some sand and some clay. Right here, we got all the forestry franchise, uh, the Mammoth Mill. If you have played on Richie's maps before, you know exactly what the Mammoth Mill is all about. I think it's been reduced in uh, its uh, production line, but I'm not quite sure. But we're going to check everything out on this map. I can promise you that. Maybe even with some flow charts, if I got the time. Um, I will make sure to make some flow charts. Or if it's really, really requested, then I will do so as well. Just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to dive into some flow charts. I will be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, right, let's see here. We got, what is that, worm storage? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been using a, some hours just to try to see which way I wanted to start on this map. So uh, some things are still new to me. I've been looking at the winery. It's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I think we can get... Uh, yeah, talking about the new fruit types. Shall we do that? We got the uh, the normal ones here. Um, we even got rice as an extra fruit tribe. Fruit tribe? Tribe? Type? <laughs> um, let's see... What else we got? We've got hemp, coffee, cranberry, hops, carrots, onions, peanuts, clover. Yeah, here's the fun part. The red grape saplings, white grape saplings, olive saplings, and almond saplings. Ooh, we got peas, we got beans, we got tomato plants. Right, so much good stuff. I think this is tomato plants, right? Yes. And this got to be the olive saplings down here, Yeah, for which we own, I think. Uh, then we got almond down there, yes, and then we got the red grape and the white grapes over here. Okay, good stuff. So what do we own? What do we own from the start? All this good stuff over here and a central warehouse, I guess, where we can store stuff. Okay, oops. Um, <laughs> all right, so we own a quite good amount of land. That's wonderful. Uh... I've started up doing grass on my previous save game, and um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea because here we can get a lot of money. We have a grass processing facility right here. Let's go out of, uh, let's go into the map overview here. We got the grass processing, and the grass you're gonna cut down from this uh, field over here. Well, not field, not yet at least. And then we can that will be turned into silage and hay. And then you can turn hay into compost. But for that, we need diesel. Um, silage we can sell uh, somewhere. I think it's over here at the barn. Spinnery barn there. Pretty good profit. Pretty good profit. So that's the way I like to go. I mean, the most obvious field would be five. If we're going to do some expansion. And that's 2.6 million. Yeah. We could go into the mining business. We could do that. But that's almost, yeah, around a million per square no matter what kind of uh, bulk material you choose oh, okay two i was i was lying there that's two million okay two millions for the what for the stone and the gravel okay is that a fantastic good price or since it's double up the value was just more of it stone or mm, yes and no Mostly yes. Salt. Uh, so. Okay, there's a reason behind the madness. Yeah, actually, the best price looks like it's salt. You get the best price compared with the value of the square you need to buy. Okay, that worth remembering. Okay, okay. Right. Um... Yes, there's a lot of trees up here, so um, we don't need to plant any trees uh, anytime soon. We could buy the uh, the plot here, the Mammoth Mill is on, and that is 650,000, so that could be one of the goals. Or we could go for this one, that's two. That's 2.6, I mean, that's a lot of money. Um, and this down here, that was the olives. Yeah, so you know what, let's, let's go take a look at the... Uh, vehicles and stuff like that. Now there's one thing I'd like to plunk down right immediately, right off the bat. Immediately right off the bat. And that is this one, the diesel production. Um, by adding canola you can produce diesel with ease. 
So we're going to get some diesel. This is the diesel production by Steve. Now I know out there there's some silos where you can just shove in grass and then it's going to produce diesel from you. I figured that was a little bit too easy, a little bit of a cheat. So I'd like to go around and uh, get some canola planted um, because this way it, it takes a little bit of effort and that makes it not less cheesy, cheaty. But I hope you know what I mean. So we need to find a place for this one. And actually, it could be just about anywhere. Um, I think I'd like to place it over here. What we what we got here? What we got here? We got... Oh yeah, that's the lake. Yeah, we might not want to place it there. Um, looks like there's room for placeables. Like here, that's just here we are. I mean, the diesel factory is a little bit, a little bit big. Can we uh, just run around a little bit and look for a place to put it down? And just give me a few minutes and I will be right back when I've found a suitable place for it. All right, I think I found a place for it, uh, but it's 110,000 uh, euros and we need to sell off a little bit of the things we have. I'm not going to touch the animal pens uh, because you never know, sometimes uh, yeah, the game acts really weird when you're just trying to sell some of the the existing uh, animal closures, uh, so I'm not going to touch it. It's not something to do with the map, it's just sometimes, yeah, the, the game is just really weird. Um, I'd like to keep this one, yes, and I'd like to keep this one also. This is for the uh, special fruit types. You can see here the red grapes, white grapes, tomatoes, uh, almonds, and that will be the olives, I guess. I think so, yeah. Uh, this one and this one. Ooh, you know what? Do we really need two of these? I mean, not really now. We could release a little cash here, you know what, gonna s no, you know what, I'm gonna sell both of them, because I got a little something I'd like to drive around in, my own personal favorite, there we go, we don't need these ones, I'm gonna sell both of them, I don't like the road runners, um, we got this one, yeah, pretty handy, uh, but... Do we have, yeah, we have these for it. Um, we can keep it for now. Oh, we even have the fast track. We got three tractors. Okay, we're going to sell this also. Hmm. Oops, too far. This one, yeah, teeny tiny trailer. We're going to sell that. It's not, yeah. Hmm. I just realized maybe we, there might be a reason for that little teeny tiny trailer. Well, anyways, we're going to figure it out. I think uh, the, uh, to unload from this. I haven't tried that, but yeah, let's see how it grows. Uh, this one is supposed to lime and fertilize uh, the crops, specifically the uh, the new uh, almo the uh, the yeah the almonds and the olives. Um, it should have been uh, um, specifically made for that. Uh, so we're gonna keep it. Uh, the ritual tanker. Yeah, there's some specific fill types that we need to keep in mind so we're gonna keep that one this one however it's not that expensive but it's gonna go yes all right this one is the planter for all the new grapes and olives almonds we're gonna keep that this is the flexi coil that's pretty awesome i'm gonna keep that uh i think i should have installed the gps mod so that is also a good thing uh slide on see what is that that's the man module, and we just sold that off. Yes, we did. So that's gonna go as well. Uh, if it turns out some of the, the trailer that I'm gonna buy is not able to uh, haul the fruit type on the map, um, we're gonna do something about it. We're gonna rebuy it. I think that's it for now. All right. So first up, a tractor, and I got this one, one of my favorites. The stair, yes, multicolor edition. Rim color, go with black. And I said we're gonna go with the navy theme, so we're gonna do that. This is gonna be black because it looks pretty cool. 
uh, navy. I mean, who in their right mindset would paint a tractor blue navy color? Well, somebody like me. Now, the grid color, I found out that we could do something like chrome steel orange, like that. Look at this. Because it kind of matches the beacons and the indicators. That's pretty awesome. And we're going to go with the trailer, but that's fine. Without terminal, that's also fine. Seat cushions, white. Yeah, why not? Mm, we're going to beef up the engine. It's going to cost us 15,000, uh, but we're going to have 750 horsepower. Uh, beacons, I guess, like that. Global positioning system. Mm, yes. Yes. Right. 283. We got almost a million. Okay, that's fine. Good. Then we need we need to make sure we have 110 in uh, excess. Um, so, we're going here to Winston's. And we're going to choose our truck. That one, the Kenworth K100. Go with the navy blue. I do love this truck. Sounds awesome. Somebody won't like it, but I love it. And we're going to max it up. Max heavy. 1,200 horsepower. Uh, global positioning? No, not really. Nope. 400,000 euros. That's, that's, that's a bargain. That's a bargain right there. I tell you, people. Right. So, here, the cat tipper. Now, I figured that most of the film uh, materials, fill types, is, should be included. We got peanuts, onions... Carrots, we got cranberries, we got coffee, hemp, hops, we got the grapes, and we got the olives. So we should be good to go on this map, and even the rice is here. So, uh, we can crank up the capacity until, what is that, 5 million? Yes. Not really sure what this non-CP and CP stands for. I haven't figured that out, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Well, the only option for 5 million is non-CP, so, yeah. Grain door standard, I think we're going to take standard. Now, with the coloring scheme here, I tried to change it, but it looks terrible. Um, with the design, well, that's, that, that's the uh, rims. So we can go with, like, cherry on the rims. But no matter what I choose here, like, eh, because of that yellow, no, that red line there, it just interferes with everything. Hmm... No, we're going to start with this one. All right, so let's keep it for now. So we got the trailer and we got the truck. Mm, yes, we got a tractor. Um, what more? I think that's about it for now. Pop a smurf. There we go. Right, we have some silos here we need to take care of. Uh, it's only 30 euros, so that's fine. We need some fertilizer station and we need a lime station. Uh, we need a seed station. And that's about it. Um, I mean, these are also in the mod pack, but I don't think I'm going to use it. It's a little overkill. It's really fun to uh, do the field work with those ones. I mean, 50 meters, it's going to be like a... Yeah, it's going to take a few seconds, then we're done. Um, yeah. Um, not so much. Maybe later on when I'm getting pretty fed up with uh, doing field work and just want to move on, perhaps, but not right now. It's a little it's a little too much even for me. Believe it or not. Right, fertilizer station. Fertilizer station. Now this is where we are. So let's see. I would like to place these around the main farm. Um a place where it doesn't get too inconvenient. Maybe here on the side of the silos. I mean, we don't even really have anything to do around these parts, right? So uh, if we're going to change that around, something like this. Try to line it up and put one down there. Right, there we go. What was that? That was fertilizer, right? Yes. And then we're going to have the uh, line. And we can just swirl that around as well. There we go. Fairly placed out. Yeah, it's, ugh, it's a little difficult. All the shadows interfere. Ah, that's good enough. Right. Uh, seat station. We can plant this on the other side. Something like here. 
And do we need one more digestate? No liquid. Uh, not really. Herbicide. No, we're not playing with with um. Mm -mm, we're not playing with the uh, wheat. So I think I think we could go right about now. The final thing, the final thing, as we said, on the global company, the diesel production. Yeah, it's a bit big. It's a bit big. So I said I found an obvious place for it, and I did. It was down here, but now I'm thinking it's a bit far away. Um, we could take care of some trees first. I mean, we do own all this, so it shouldn't really matter where to put it down. I mean, what we got here? We got is that pigs, cows. That's cows. How about over here on this field? There's a lot of room here. Could that be an option? You don't own this land. No, but we will soon enough. Um, I don't know. I like to put it down here. Actually. Just here. And that requires that we're gonna buy some of the land. Uh, okay. I don't own this land. I don't. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Let's see what we can do about it. Yeah, I kind of don't. Is that for the cows? How much is that? 128. And how much we have again? 558. Okay, well, we need this one. 200. We're gonna buy that. Yes. And then we gonna buy this I mean we could focus on getting cows running pretty soon that's it's no problem I like cows they're sweet um 340 all right uh, let's do that I mean we can always sell it again right and then we got 220 okay I think I think it works out yes now we can do it I mean it's gonna collide with the uh, trees right now so what we need to do is we're gonna get the the um uh, the um the um the um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the um the brooks uh forestry equipment um no it's not here well we have the option the tree maverick uh it's an alternative to the brooks no i think i'm gonna go with this one i'm always using the brooks and this one is pretty awesome dedication to Maverick. I'm gonna put some logos on. Where's the logo? Is that over here? No? No logo? Hmm. I thought it was. Oh, anyway. Well, no logo. Uh, attachment type, three points. Yeah, because we can put this on the skid steer, we can put it on the wheel loader, we can put it on the tiller handler, and even a front loader. Pretty awesome. Three point because we only have a tractor. Capacity. I'm gonna crank up the capacity to... Three million. That should do it, right? And then we can do a lot of forestry later on. Hundred and sixty. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's too much. Okay. Well, then let's not do three million. Let's do. How much can we put this up? Half a million. Yeah. Then we have no money at all. You know what? Uh. 50,000 should do for starters, right? Then we can always upgrade it. Yes, let, let's do like that. Okay, now we should be ready to start up our little uh, adventure here. So, first of all, we need to go to the shop. Let's not shop, let's not shop. Well, we could drive to the shop. I'd like to reskin this as well. Shall we go to the shop? Let's drive to the shop. Let's enjoy the scenery. We need to reskin or repaint this for navy blue. And I set this lake or this inbound, uh, yeah, what do you call it? Puddle of water? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a puddle. A body of water. Water body. Body of water. I don't know what you call it. That center in the whole map. And I do appreciate it. The scenery here is really, really wonderful. So
so some of the things uh, looks familiar from uh, the other maps and then again they do not this is pretty familiar it's a little smaller but that's perfectly fine there's even cell points here also for wool and I don't know some cell point of some sort there right let's uh, paint this customize main color just like that how much is that actually oh none okay I thought it cost money oh it's because it was green yeah okay never mind nothing nothing never mind right cool let's what are we gonna do with this well actually I'm gonna drive it back to the farm I'm gonna drive it over to the field where we have some grass Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. Let's drive around the other way here. Watch a little bit of scenery. Appreciate the new map here. It's really nice. Hey, mister. You got your lights on. Baseball and a soccer field. Oh, and a playground. Something for everybody. It's really nice. Right here we are. So we're gonna park this right here. Uh, you know what we actually forgot? We actually forgot to buy a... Uh, yeah, I can't use it with this one. We forgot to buy a loading wagon for the grass. Oh dear. Well, fortunately, uh, we don't have that much money, but one of the mods is... That's a little cheesy. But one of the mods is actually the Rapid 4800. Uh, if I can find it, I just saw it. Where is it? There it is. 50,000 euros. And comes with a cap whopping capacity of uh, max 9 million. But uh, the standard is 5 million. So that should that should do. Yeah, that's a hideous combination. Let's make it black. Right. Standard configuration and everything. Um, you see here we can crank it up to 9 million with the extension. But I'm not going to do that. 5 million is more than enough. 52,000. Right. Excellent. We still. Oh, now we're a little bit short of the money. Oh dear, that's not good. Now we can't buy the diesel. Oh, son of a. Well, you know what? We can always wait for doing less stuff. Um, we can do some grass and then we can earn a lot of money. Because I did buy this, right? Yeah, right. Phew. I mean, you could sell it again, but we need to chop down the trees. So, not to worry, not to worry. That's all fine. It's all good. Right, it's on the front. Oh, the sniffle stick. Um... Yeah, the sniffle stick. Uh, that is if we need to put this um, loading wagon back on the uh, the mower. We can do that. But um, do we want to? I mean, it's... I think we do. Got to make things a little bit faster. Yeah, it's only 5,000. Uh, spending money I don't have. Oh no. What shall we do? That's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Money is a little tight right now. But uh, I shall promise you. In a few days. We're going to have a lot of money. There we go. 
Yeah, it looks a little silly now, but there's a reason for all this. Maybe we should uh, just try to be a little more safe in the traffic. Right, there we go. Here we are on the road again. On the road again. Right, here we come. Now. I'd like to do start up on this grass cutting down here. And then uh, hopefully finish up in the next episode. Because this episode is quite long. And we need to do other stuff as well. So... Let me just do like this and get you going. We could repaint you, but we're gonna wait just a little bit. Now, put the sniffer stick on and we can attach this one. Yes, because then we can cut the grass and pick it up in one go. And this corner here is part of the mud pack. It's gotta be a huge cut radius, cut width, cut thingy Um So. Yeah, we're gonna start up here. Let's unload, open it up, and open it up. Thank you. Put it down. The mower. Open you up. Slow and steady. Lower you down. I'm just gonna show you. Bonk. Start up. Look at that. Oh, and then we're gonna. Control Y, so we're going to change it to Swath. I think it is Swath dropping, yes. And then we're going to start you up. There we go. And should leave a massive Swath and should pick it up. Look at that. Easy grass cutting, mowing, all in one go. How cool is this? Right. So I'm just going to do one round and come back and we're going to start cut down the trees. Now what I'd like to do in the future, that is going to remove the trees over there and merge up this field with field 5. And we're going to take the plow and then we're going to create fields here. So this is going to be a created field because the hard worker is not cannot cope with, the, with this when there's no field. Then they won't do it. Uh, but my hope is that we can uh, create this field and we're going to make a massive grass field and we're going to have a steady income of grass and, well, silage, that is. And then we also have some food for the cows. So once we're doing work otherwise or anywhere else on the map, the hard work is going to drive up and down and up and down and up and down and cut grass from us and then we can... Harvest the benefit, just plunk it in the uh, converting silos or the uh, grass composting thingy meetings. I forgot what it's called. So that's the idea. That's why I installed the GPS. Because it's a little easier using G GPS when creating this uh, size of fields. Right. And there are a few trees. I don't know if we... I don't think we can cut them yet. Mm, but the first goal is to get 200 and... No, not 200. <laughs> I wish. 2 million. 2.6 million, right? That's what the price tag of the field was. Yeah. That's not sounds like a lot of money, but... A few days' time. And a few times driving around in circles, so to speak. That should do the trick. Why didn't you want to come? It's because we don't have access to the land. But we could cut it. Uh, okay. Alright, so first of all, we're going to remove all these trees here. It should be no no problem. Just Can we lower you just a little bit? Yes, we can. There we go. And it's pretty efficient. I'll call it a Brooks 2. Because it's really awesome. Right, so I'm gonna cut these trees down. And uh, I'm gonna do a lot of uh, mowing. 
And uh, yeah, that was uh, the first episode here on the Richie's Ferry. Hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I really enjoy playing on this map. And uh, well, next time around, yep, yeah, we're gonna get ready for for the field creation. I'm getting some canola and getting some diesel up and running, setting some silage, getting some more money. Yeah, that's the idea. So I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, then please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye.